Hello again. It is going to get a bit warmer over the next few days, but I'm not talking about a lot of dry and sunny weather. There's still plenty of showers to talk about, especially so today. Not a huge amount of sunshine. Some places seeing a bit of blue sky, especially later on. But we've still got low pressure dominating our weather, sitting right over us. And you can see on the satellite image how we've got the bands of cloud just swirling around that area of low pressure and so, well, that is going to continue through the rest of Friday. Now, there are a few breaks in the cloud. We've seen some sunshine across southeast England, parts of southern Scotland and Northern Ireland. But the cloud will tend to come back here, I think, through the rest of today. And you can see a lot of cloud, especially in the central zone through Wales, the Midlands and northeast England, where we'll continue with outbreaks of rain. Elsewhere, we'll see some showers across East Anglia and the southeast and showers again across parts of Scotland. The more persistent rain clearing from the Western Isles. Overall, it's nothing like as wet as it has been through recent days. But still, if you're stuck under that thicker band of cloud through parts of northwest England, temperatures are only 14, 15 degrees. But for many, it is a bit warmer compared to recent days, certainly across parts of northern Scotland, a lot warmer than yesterday. And with some sunny spells across East Anglia and the southeast, we could get to 19 or 20 Celsius. We'll see a few more breaks in the cloud through the evening, so a better chance of seeing a bit of late sunshine in the east but in the west, more cloud, more rain arrives, turning pretty wet across Northern Ireland overnight, and that rain edging into western parts of England, across Wales and southwest Scotland. Further east, uh, largely dry and clear nights, which means we should at least start the weekend with a bit of sunshine, and we should start with temperatures in double digits in most towns and cities. But we do start with cloud and rain for Wales and western England, spreading into parts of Scotland. Again, this band of rain will tend to break up a little bit through the day. But again, some parts, particularly northwest England, are likely to stay pretty dull and damp for most of the day. Brighter weather follows into southwest Scotland, Wales, and southwest England. And across the east, it should feel quite a bit warmer than recent days. Although, again, showers are still likely. But a bit of brightness could see highs of 19 or 20 Celsius. That thicker zone of cloud, again, temperatures here still struggling 15 or 16. But still, a bit warmer than it has been for most of the week. We've still got low pressure controlling things, though. It's still driving bands of showers across the country into Saturday evening. So if you've got plans, again, be prepared for some rain. It does look a bit brighter and drier to end Saturday in western areas. We could see a bit of sunshine. The wind's coming in from the southwest, still swirling around this area of low pressure, which continues to dominate our weather into Sunday. And uh, again, quite a few isobars on the chart there for Sunday. There'll be a brisk breeze blowing. Sunday, again, basically, there'll be some sunshine, but again, most places will see showers. And again, some of those showers could be on the heavy side. Signs of it getting a bit warmer as we go into next week. But again, not necessarily dry and sunny everywhere. For more information on that, why not follow us on social media.